tons of great information on that group and I have to salute them okay but on the political side you have people that really want their own show on mainstream you could tell they got no balls they don't they don't come out they don't call people out like James P. Madonna they don't tell it like it is like James P. Madonna they're pusillanimous pipsqueak cowards that's why the political crowd only posts on their own profile and they don't really come out on the group. Who cares? Yeah, who cares? They're pussies. Just like who the cares? just like they the average right American cares. voter is also a pussy. They're not they're not proactive. They're not progressive warriors. They're wimps. They should be ashamed of themselves. And that's that. Hey, I don't need the shillelagh. But they have the right to do that, don't they? They have a right to be a fucking fa a pussy. Exactly. Thank and you. a wimp. Okay. Of Thank course you. they have a right. They have a right to be a moron. And you have a right to teach them to be otherwise, but not to ridicule them or to uh, come after them like a jerk. Well, if they're a freakazoid or then they're, them off the or they're really that stupid, if they're, what the hell? if they're a teabagger and they're really that stupid, Aww. yeah, I'm going to explain to them why and how stupid they are. Yeah, <clears throat> it's too bad. They shouldn't be that way. They're adults. They should know better than to be assholes and idiots. You know, you really? should be parachuted into Saudi Arabia in the middle of a square and try to teach those people to be different. You know what will happen you're to talking you? Up, you're talking about you know what exchange. will happen to you in five minutes? Your head will be lopped. You see, what you're doing is you're trying to retaliate against my evidence by saying something like that. Which you can have all the evidence in the world in, 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 in that square in, in Saudi Arabia. You ain't going anywhere well, they, but getting your head lost. They off. won't listen. No, show, but ladies and gentlemen, a breakthrough. But James P. Madonna. A breakthrough. James P. Madonna would not parachute in, in that area. Uh, James P. Madonna would drop a nuke. Hey, Sicilians, they don't fuck around. They don't make mistakes like that. I drop a nuke, man, and there won't be no rat. Uh, Sicilians no, have to do with science. They won't. Radio. No, it has to do with being smart and uh, uh, getting to the root of the problem. Believe me, nukes would take care of um, uh, extremists. You think you're saying, what if James P. Madonna was parachuted? No, I'm not that stupid. I would nuke them. I made an example. First, I'd send them a nice loaf of you Italian seem bread, to have some prosciutto, some wine. You have a uh, uh, uncanny uh, ability to be of smart. avoiding the subject. Well, the it, subject was teaching. The subject was uh, going after a mind which is totally different from you. And trying to teach but it, if you can't, but trying to teach it with your method. But if you can't teach them, then you you tell them how ridiculously, naturally stupid see, they are. And that changes what? That lets them know how how dumb and brain cell deficient they are. From whose point of view? Factual. From whose point of view? See, you they didn't accept your you fact. value perception too much. You. They did not accept your facts. Well, then they should be ridiculed. But that's not the answer. But You're if you can't teach them, you might as well destroy them. And, and humiliate them and take them down. <laughs> I mean, well, if number they, one, they can't learn. In the instance that I, the little thought experiment that I pro proclaimed, yeah. I said, you wouldn't make it out. Your head would be locked. I would drop. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't try to teach people like that. Ah, I nuke them. But you're already doing it. Where's your nukes? I Donald Trump them. Where's your nukes? I nuke them. Where's, Where's my nukes? I don't nukes? have any. Well, there you go. I just have a shillelagh. So how are you going to nuke them? Well, I'm not going to. I'm not going to parachute and try to teach uh, extreme uh, nuts. You're doing it now. You're trying to teach Republicans. We actually, actually, it, it, they're not teachable. So what I do is I tell them what they really are, and you you say it's and mean, that but satisfaction. Eh. Why? How? Uh, exposing what they really are to them, to who? To them and others, exposing them. 
exposing the fact that they're out of that Ted Cruz and his father and Pat Robinson are out of their cotton picking mind. Why? Now what? Hey man, sometimes you gotta. Sometimes we live in a world. You can't avoid. Sometimes you can't avoid war, my friend. You can't avoid war. But you're not making war. You're a person. You're a person going against other persons. There's no war yeah. involved. No. You're, you're, what well, am I, what am I supposed to do? Keep all the ideas encapsulated in private. And not, and why, not, why and not go, let it be known. Not why do you go off the subject? Though? What am I supposed to do? Say nothing? Again, off the subject. What is the subject? You're teaching. Well, um, your students are not listening. Uh, 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 but you're more in a teaching mode. I, I, I kind of know who I can't teach and who I can teach. But you don't do that. Listen, you, you when turn I'm, to ridicule. How does that uh, Because they're preposterously despicable and insane. They deserve ridicule. I know, but if nobody listens to it, what it what's up? What, well, they obviously what does it serve? They obviously what does it they serve? obviously read my texts on how ridiculous they really are. And they have they have a choice of uh, getting uh, upset or quitting the group. Are they quitting? I don't know. Well, I don't pay attention to to stupid. Insane folks. I don't pay any attention to them. You do so. You I, want to ridicule them. Oh, well, I say what I have to say, and I I be done with it. I, I I listen. You know who I you know who I chat with? Done with it. You ain't done with Gary No for two listen, years. You know who I chat with? You know who I'm on the same page with? Very intelligent German gentleman, Mr. Paul Neath, and Sash Boyle of San Diego, California. Whoopie. Those are guys. I'm on the same page with, and, and, and Glenn Bean uh, of uh, Wisconsin. What's their objective? And uh, Evelyn Pringle. Uh, I don't read any of that a, 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 a Pringle stuff. You just told me shit. you're a Pringle fan. The, uh, 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 you we are. Weeks ago. Never did. I explained what happened. That's all. No, you told. I never read any of her shit. You told me that she no, had. I didn't she has tell been you. writing things for a long time now. That's correct. And well, what does that have and, to do with liking her? And shit? she got a show with on That's the correct. Progressive Radio well, Network. What does that have to do with me liking her shit? Oh, you 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 said she's a very intelligent woman one time. No, I didn't. You never said that. No. You just said that you know of her. Yes. I don't know of her. She explained. She's been a writer for many, many, many moons. Okay. I don't read her shit. Her shit? Yeah. It's not of interest to me. I don't know if it's Another, good, uh, bad, or ugly. Well, first of all, her articles, uh, many of them are are factual men some of them are some care. of them are conspiracy i'm not interested in you're me. not interested but you're I'm only interested, interested in you're in only friends. interested in what william j eisenman writes no shit. selfishness ego uh, you rascal write? you rascal you i don't write anything on facebook what are you talking yeah, about yeah i noticed you don't do you don't you don't put That's any right. you don't put any blogs or it's a waste of time for you, me to do you that. You just shit. put like uh, maybe a couple sentences. That's correct. Yeah, I always wondered what what possessed you to be like that. What possessed is because I understand that my time is worth more. Oh, what do you do? What? What do you do generally that's more important than being known on the internet? What could I don't be better? Want to be known. Where do you get this idea? See. You're like my brother-in-law, and uh, in, a, in some ways, Bill Morrow. You have this low. Pro, you're a low-profile guy. You don't want to be in the public eye. Low-profile guy. Well, you see these Bingo. pecs. I want to be in the public eye. So there, I'll do it. Thank message. You. Thank you. Not personality. Oh yeah, the message is important too. Oh really? Well, I, I razzle and dazzle people with. Both message, facts, charisma, pizzazz. All the, the whole ball of wax. Where's the message? Oh, it's there. 
fine. You just Where gotta listen it? to what I say. Where is it? Oh, it, it, oh, it's there. If you paid attention to what I put down. Where is it? On the internet, you'll see it. I read everything on the internet on Facebook. All right, messages. So it has nothing to do with that. You know how many posts about Hillary on the uh, being on the take that I put on a, on a daily basis? And a hundred other people. And 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 uh, who's that? Uh, the latest one? Oh, the Walmart heiress just gave a. Uh, he been helping the money to Hillary. And how many others? And she's not uh, what do you call love? How many she, others? She's That's not, not a message. She's, she's not pro um, uh, um, living wage. That's why. No, there's other information. There are other uh, things that are posted. There are, it's not just about Hillary being on a take. There's many other things. Yeah, the same things that the Turks do, that Jesse does. That poopy does. That pumpy does. That pumpy does. These are just statements of current events and etc. These are not messy. Yeah, like a like the person blaming Obama for the uh, Flint, Michigan um, water what situation. Other? The Republican. Obama's blamed for everything. So what? So what is your message? What is so special about your two sentences? Hey, uh, do you read the newsletter? What is your message? Do you read the newsletter? There's the message. Well, how come it, it, you don't you don't copy and paste more on the internet? I give it away for free. What are you talking about? No, I mean the no, 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 no. Internet. Where do you think it is on the fucking internet? Oh, oh, oh! I get, oh, 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 oh. Right. That's a message. I understand so something I'm, about people. I'm talking about you back, can't a, feed them. A back and forth banter in in text on the on the internet on on a Facebook group back and forth back and forth back and forth waste of time it's a waste of time waste of time you could well, be writing well, something very well, important people put people putting all that on their own profile is also very limited to waste of time. to what they have to say according to your idea it's a waste of time well uh, considering how many friends are on their friend list i would say it's very limited to just put it's a waste of things time. on your profile. Then. Exposure is based on how many people can see what you place. If uh, your friends list has 100 people and a group has 3,000 people, of course the group has more exposure than your profile. Well, they ain't exposing themselves. Because they're cowards. Whatever they You ever hear a testosterone, brother? Anyway, getting back to Verizon Fios, Optimum wants $170 for the uh, internet, for the cable TV, and the home telephone with tax. Verizon Fios wants only $130 with tax, but, and here comes the, the reason why they're in the Chiseler's Hall of Shame. Verizon Fios has a so-called setup fee of up to $150 in addition to their wonderful discounted monthly charge. I don't think so. Uh, their, their overhead, whatever reason they have for charging this big setup fee, is really not my concern because it's not the customer's problem to be concerned. Their overhead is tax deductible. They have technicians that are union of members, Verizon, and their technicians, because they are technicians, deserve a technician's pay. Is that my problem as a customer? No. You need Verizon. You need the customer. The customer does not need you. So, and the fact that it's all tax deductible, you know, that's the reason why you're in a Chisler's Hall of Shame. I won't go with the Verizon FiOS package for that reason. There you go. That's all. Took a thousand years to say it, but it's said. Said and done. Super Tuesdays are coming. This Tuesday. And uh, it is time for... Almost time for lunch. I guess it is time for lunch. Well, before lunch, I get to one more thing in there. Okay. There was a uh, video on Facebook last night. About these... 
people who are involved in the company. Volume, volume. The yeah. company yeah. brought in the H-1B visa jumbalonies and the poor slobs that are working in the company, the IT people, they have to teach these people their jobs and then once those people learn their jobs they're gone. Can I ask you a question? They're gone. Why do they comply with the company if they know they're going to get fired? Because they're not going to get any severance otherwise. Or oh. pay. It all works out and goes back to money. So is that, that I guess that's what uh, Triple H on the WWE Monday Night Raw meant by the authority ends up that the authority always wins in the end. That's correct. You people... Until the system has changed, understand this. Money. Money. So they won't get their severance pay if they do not teach... And they will go... Well, well they will lose their pay as they're teaching. Too. They do not teach the H-1B people that are going to replace them. That's correct. And work much cheaper than them. That's correct. Okay. See, I know I know about the, the computer technicians that work for Verizon because that's the only job they can find in IT, unfortunately. Because I, I at one time, I was a security officer part-time on the side, and there was going to be a Verizon strike Hey. Technicians were going to go on strike, and somebody from upper management was giving me bullshit about, oh yeah, we're gonna, they, they don't, they don't, they don't make enough stops in one day, we're, we want to get them to make a minimum of eight stops. I'm thinking, it's kind of excessive. Well, eight what stops. Is a, what does eight stops have to do with the jobs? Suppose you got a job that's going to last three hours. What are you supposed to do? Make eight stops that day? And not go home? That's what happens with quality control. That's why things are crap. Yeah, as you, they are in America. You end up with a technician who's exhausted. Exactly. Because, yeah, what if a and stop... And he can't spend the time at each stop that needs certain amount of time. Yeah, and what about, what about lunch? What about dinner? What about... Uh, well, that's right. they don't what if there's about. an emergency with his kid or uh, blah blah blah? You know, what I mean, I mean, I mean, you don't know how long, like Bill said, you don't you don't know how long a stop will take. That's correct. There's no way to project that, mm -hmm, you know. Mm -hmm. So when when corporate runs their mouth, uh -huh. it often doesn't have much logic in it. There's no foresight. You know, like it's, it's 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 their perception. It's their point of view. It, That's what it, it is. It's it. But they all, have sometimes. They don't understand what goes on in the field. They don't. There's sometimes. no. There's no what ifs. The only thing they would understand is if they had all Android robots to do all the jobs. They wouldn't. They don't seem to want to understand the human element. Look, as an employee. Somebody know. said last night on Facebook. Yeah. I answered. Right. Uh, that uh, about these companies, you know, right. shipping jobs overseas, H-1B visas, and this center center. Right. And I said, this can all be changed simply by outlawing it. But to do that, you have to get rid of those that don't do the outlawing that are in Congress right now. Yeah, well, that's and, what it takes. And also to understand it. Bernie's revolution yeah. will not work until those people are gone. I don't care how many millions vote for him. That's why he Ber will be like worse than Obama. That's why Bernie says he can't do it by himself. That's correct. It has to be a, a grassroots. Has to be the asses of the masses have to be get together. And uh, you got to get the goddamn bastards that are there now, now out. Now the trouble, the problem that might come up with Donald Trump's tariffing of the outsourced products. No, you don't tariff them. Yeah, but a that's coddling them. But a tariff. You outlaw them. See, he won't let me talk. A tariff won't might be a slap on the wrist like a fine. Correct. That's what I'm trying to get at. In other well, words, 
A fine is a mere slap on the wrist to a big corporation. Those who have money. Right. That's great. They'll just pay the fine. That's great. A tariff might also be nothing but a slap on the wrist That's great. to a big company. You just don't allow it. That's correct. <laughs> they make laws about everything else, deregulation, this, that, and everything. But we can also make laws about this. Listen, it's all it takes. listen, in the news, before we go to lunch, every week there is article after article about more of the top 1% uh, giving what? giving to the Hillary Clinton campaign uh -huh. and it, and, and it, the money is just pouring in and Hillary as w the weeks go by is sounding more and more like a conservative Republican than well, she's always been and she's 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 hiding behind her husband's past record she's she's hiding behind a false progressiveness a false he was uh, not a progressive well, no, he got it. What do you call the 1996 welfare law? What do you call Glass Steagall? What do you call Lawrence uh, Summers? What do you call uh, Rubin what do in I his call cabinet, etc., etc.? It's et a compromise with with Newt Gingrich, is what I call it. He compromised. It with was Newt called Gingrich. the new, the new Democrats. They took corporate money more than ever. That's what happened during Clinton's era. So all, era. The, all the Democrats since then including Barack Obama, are corporatists. Worse than yeah. ever. Like, like uh, B Barack Obama is signed the Monsanto Protection Act. That's Monsanto it. doesn't need protection. We need protection from Monsanto. Bingo. He's for the TPP. Bingo. He is. He tried to nominate a Republican Supreme Court, uh, 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 this Uncle Tom Spanish guy. Yes, Spanish. Could be Uncle Tom. So Bingo. You know. Uh, whatever. Yeah, whatever. The, the point, point is, of it is, back in the 90s, the, the Clinton says, hey, come on, we need the corporate money. We're going to be good to you people. And that's what happened. Yeah, they gutted out, uh, gutted unemployment, signed away Glass-Steagall. Now, Cornell West was right when he... Gutted he welfare, not unemployment. I'm sorry. He gutted out welfare as we know it. They gutted out a compromise between Bill Clinton and um, a Newt Gingrich, uh, Cornell West called Barack Obama a Rockefeller Republican in blackface, and uh, <coughs> and so on and so forth. The point of it is, yeah. that's it. Well, you can't. They they can't. They can't do anything, or they'll lose the money. They'll lose the money. Oh, speaking of money and and campaign contributions. Uh, um, from what I understand, Donald Trump's a liar about being totally self-funded. It seems that he's being lying about his Trump University, too. <laughs> now, I got a lot of Trump stuff up next, so... So it's going to be a very Trumpy... Trumpy afternoon. ...afternoon, and everything we discuss politically is part of our series, Capitalism in a Conch Shell. There is the conch. Hillary Clinton's, uh, my favorite banner of the week is the one that says, uh, Hillary Clinton's uh, uh, fees for giving speeches is just a, a cover-up for taking a bribe. No shit, it all is. It's just a... What the hell do you think corporate money is? Nobody's going to give a human being $225,000 right. for one speech just for the speech alone. And for telling us that, uh, that we're not going to get all that we want for giving you money. Come on, that's what she said. She said, hey guys, cut it out. You're going to destroy the economy. Well, she says, I... I, oh, I come on! She says, despite all the campaign contributions, I make my own decisions. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm independent of, of them. Yeah. Oh, but those feminists see that now, are screaming for Hillary ah, at the debates. See now, on this show, you can actually now call her a corporate whore. You see? But, but, but... Because wait. you have jurisdiction over here. Well, because she... But you don't have it on somebody else's page. Well, Sorry. if somebody takes a bribe, and whether they be male or female, when they take a bribe yeah. to represent them and po and lie to the public, it is a form. Yeah, it's corruption, but it's a form of prostitution. Of You're prostituting yourself. What's another word for prostitute? 
whore, whore, whore. Or, or, or harlot if you want to be harlot. You, know, you want to be a little nice about it. Okay, so it's like they'll put down a real prostitute. How about a concubine? <laughs> they'll they'll put down a real prostitute, but in in, in essence, they are one themselves. And when Oprah Winfrey was promoting non-GMO organic food and then suddenly uh, did a flip-flop in favor of Monsanto, that's also a form of corporate whore. But Gary No couldn't handle the word whore. It bothers him. It bothers him. Anyway, we're going to lunch. Well, it's his right to be bothered. It bothers the word bothers him, okay. but only he's allowed to yell and rant and rave on his show. But he won't use the term. He's old. Maybe it's because he's old generation, older it's than me. To do with that. All right, whore, prostitute, harlot. They're synonymous, right? Who cares? I'm not, we're not talking. Now, about you see, you see how people twist. We're talking about another. You see how people life. twist facts just to be right and have the last oh my word. God. Do you Why see how? Do you see how humans interact? Come on. We're going to lunch. You know what? It's horseshit. My facts are right, and we don't gonna stay on a subject. We're not talking about your facts. We're not talking about your terms. We're talking about where they are used. He doesn't like the way the word whore sounded. Thank you. That's it. Thank you. Now if I would have said if I would have said if I would have said she's a corporate harlot, I don't know what what Gary would have exactly. said. I don't know. That's not the point. It's not the point the and all point is, and all the words are synonymous. That's the point. They're that's all synonymous. Not the point. We're not talking about you. Are you your words? We're talking about his page. You do yeah. not do yeah, yeah. anything on his page he doesn't want. Period. So, he, so a lot of people that have pages, websites, groups are like dictators in, in a sense. They own them. They, they do, can do they what they do want. They do not run a democracy on their pages. Did they say they did? Well, I do. Well, that's you again, your page. And people that must be Stop, people that must be my food is getting cold. No, people that must be dictators on their page God. are are have a need for power and they're insecure. They have a need to do what they want to do. No, you see, you, you don't.